Hello, this module is about the for loop. At the end of this module, you should be able to understand how a loop works. Highlight the difference between a while and a for loop. Construct simple programs in C, making use of the for loop. The for statement. The for statement is the third and perhaps the most commonly used looping statement in C. This statement includes an expression that specifies an initial value for an index, another expression that determines whether or not the loop is continued, and a third expression that allows the index to be modified at the end of each pass. The general form of the for statement is for expression 1, expression 2, expression 3, statement, where expression 1 is used to initialize some parameter, called an index, that controls the looping action, and therefore is an assignment expression. Expression 2 represents a condition that must be true for the loop to continue execution and is an illogical expression. Expression 3 is used to alter the value of the parameter initially assigned by expression 1, and it is a one or assignment expression. When the first statement is executed, expression 2 is evaluated and tested at the beginning of each pass through the loop, and expression 3 is evaluated at the end of each pass. Thus, the first statement is equivalent to the above one. The looping action will continue as long as the value of expression 2 is not zero, that is, as long as the logical condition represented by expression 2 is true. The for statement, like the while and the do while statements, can be used to carry out looping actions where the number of passes through the loop is not known in advance. Because of the features that are built into the for statement, however, it is particularly well suited for loops in which the number of passes is known in advance. As a rough rule of thumb, while loops are generally used when the number of passes is not known in advance, and for loops are generally used when the number of passes is known in advance. The for statement header components. For is the keyword, followed by the control variable name, count to. The initial value of the control value is 1, a semicolon is used as a separator and is followed by a loop continuation condition. The final value of the control variable for which condition is true is listed. Again a semicolon is required to separate the expressions. The last expression is the increment of the control variable. Example 1, the first statement. Consecutive integer quantities. Here is another program which does the same thing. Now, however, we will make use of the for statement, rather than the while statement or the do while statement. The first line of the for statement contains three expressions enclosed in parentheses. The first expression assigns an initial value zero to the integer variable digit. The second expression continues the looping action as long as the current value of digit does not exceed nine at the beginning of each pass and the third expression increases the value of digit by 1 at the end of each pass through the loop. The printf function, which is included in the for loop, produces the desired output. All three expression need not be included in the for statement, though the semicolon must be present. The first and third expressions may be omitted if other means are provided for initializing the index and or altering the index. If the second expression is omitted, However, it will be assumed to have a permanent value of 1. True, thus, the loop will continue indefinitely unless it is terminated by some other means, such as a break or a return statement. The program below makes use of a for loop. For loop begins by setting counter to 1 and repeats while counter less than equal to 10. Each time end of loop is reached, counter is incremented by 1. Flar charting a typical for statement.